Deepak Kabadi. I am in charge of the program, Vector Bond Disease Control Program. And you know Goa's temperature, high humidity, rainfall, temperature, which are very suitable for this mosquito. And they adapt to this environment very well. So they don't want to uh, leave this, uh, you know, what I call, they like our Goan hospitality. Now, you know, malaria is a major pro problem, public health problem in Goa. But what we have in Goa is a two types of malaria. One is Vivex malaria and second is the Falciparum malaria. And you know the falciparum malaria uh, species is a dangerous one. If you don't treat the patient, the patient can go into complication and the patient can, if not receive treatment, he can die. The malaria in Goa is a migrant malaria. And it has started since 1985 with the first outbreak. Now since then, we have the malaria cases in Goa along this coastal belt because there are major construction activities going on this area. A huge labor force, they have called project population, and, and you know, naturally, in this construction site, because of building modern same, some reason there is a heavy breeding of mosquitoes. Early detection, the prompt treatment is a dictum for the control of this vector bond disease malaria. So, we have mobile teams. And we have good public health uh, this, uh, bylaws. You know, since uh, all this labor force is coming at the construction site, we have made compulsory to all those builders, contractors to employ this laborer, uh, not to employ laborer, those are not having health cards. The second thing is very important is the breeding site at the construction. The builders are supposed to take anti level measures at the construction site. And if they don't do it, we do it and we impose them penalty. Spraying is done with a chemical called Tamiafos and the 2.5 ml we put in 10 liter of water. We have special pumps, they are called hand compression pumps and we do it uh, spraying in a once in a week wherever the water collection are there at the site. Most of the labor forces they are staying in the huts with their families, they are staying in the huts. We screen all this labor right from the children or whatever they are there, everybody in the huts we are screening them okay, because they are staying at the night time. And wherever, once the construction is completed, no labor forces are there, there is no malaria in that site. Actually, this task is very huge, you know. So, we do it wherever the cases are there, usually. Uh, once a patient have fever, they come over here in our laboratory, and we do two type of, in the smear, thick smear and thin smear. You know, in Goa, we have nearly about 60 to 75 percent of Vivex cases. So we can't prevent that. They will be coming as long as all these activities are going on. Only what we have to aim, there should not be any transmission at the construction site. The elimination of malaria or eradication. I think eradication is very difficult. But the elimination, we can do it in Goa.